Ciao, Facebook friends! We are live once again from Temple University, Rome. We are in Rome right now, yes! Finally, we go live again. And today we have the gallery opening of Hide and Sick, the new and the first gallery opening of the fall 2021 in presence. But we're gonna have a lot of surprises today because we're gonna enter, we're gonna show you what's going on. Uh, we're gonna meet the Shara Wasserman, the curator of the gallery. Um, we're gonna see all the artwork. We're gonna meet a lot of guests and maybe we're gonna have surprises. So stay with us until the end of this live session. But in order to come to, um, to visit actually uh, the gallery opening, you need to reserve. In fact, we have a Matteo here. Oh, Ciao, Matteo, our security guard. My name is on the list, right? Maybe yes. He's pretending, he knows that I'm on the list. Um, so like, of course, like we are on the list, he's gonna check the temperature. Good, he's gonna check my green pass. And then, you know, like in order to enter the indoor, you need to show either the green pass or if you're American town, your CDC card is valid. Thank you very much. So you can come with your CDC card. Of course, I'm gonna wear the mask because we're gonna go indoor. I'm gonna wash my hands like that. But now, let's go inside. Follow me, follow me. Ciao, 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 ciao. Here we are, we are inside. And this is a beautiful, um, because of course we have uh, the lounge right here. It's beautiful. Come, come, Elena. I just want to say thank you to uh, both of you, Helena, Danielle, for doing this live streaming event, which is great today. We have the music that you can hear. It's from our students, uh, uh, Megan Kelly Moss from Boyer School of Dance and Music. And it's going to be here in the lounge, but we're going to listen to this even later on. But now, we want to enter the gallery where Shara is actually waiting for us. Ciao, Sarah. Ciao, everyone. Let's go inside. And we should have... This is the Shara. Ciao, Shara. Beautiful. Ciao, Shara. How are you? Can I do this? I'm sorry. I'm putting like a this. Please. Ciao, Shara Wasserman, the curator. <laughs> Welcome here. to everybody. It's very exciting. We're very happy. You know the big difference in this show? is that we, we, we have, we, our opening started at 12 o'clock noon. Yes. Two students came and yes. it's been going on until, it'll, until 10 o'clock tonight. That's so, nice. yes, so it's, we have so many so people. So if uh, this today is the opening, but for the people in Rome, if they want to come even later on, yes. they can come, but they yes. need to reserve. Yes. I don't know if you can see our yes. um, address of where you want to reserve. Um, yes. And come, we have a different slot, half yes. an hour, yes. more or less. Yes, we have slots, half an hour. And it's nice because we have 200 people have registered, but you know another 200 want to come and visit. So it'll be it'll be nice to have. It's a great. Some. This is great. Oh, look, there we are. Uh, Hello. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bashara, yes. this is an important one because it's of nice. course yes. we have the first gallery opening of the fall 2021. Yes, the first in presence. The first in presence. 55 years exactly, of Temple. Exactly, exactly. 55 years of Temple University. Right, and right. About 30 years of the gallery that I've been as I, you know, un under my direction, let's say. And I'm very proud. 30 years. About, yeah. 30 years yeah. this fall. Yeah, but. <laughs> oh my God, this is great. Wow. Yes. So 55 years of Temple University abroad and 30 years of Shara as director that, of Gallery That's true, that's true. More that, than, more that's than half a good of, one. Oh, more man. More than half of Temple's life. I didn't life. know that. Uh, okay, so, but now and, we want, yes. And what you see here, of course, is the result of lots of friends over all of these years giving us coming and giving us um, you know, being affectionate towards us and lending us work. So it's, it's been lovely. So let's start watching and we okay. go around. We, we have okay. a lot of people we outside. Do. We do. We inside. don't want to take too long. We do. Yes, exactly. So, so let's start you, with this one. I will. I will. I will do, there's the artist. Oh, here we Franco go. Franco Svizzero, who actually speaks very good English. Ciao, Franco. A, a performance Hi. artist. How are you? Nice to meet you. Very good. Very good. Which one? Where? Franco did this piece. Okay. And he's a performance, he he's yeah. a performance artist. Um, so these are the traces of, of his performance and the character that he often uses, narrates, is this character which in Italian is a conilio, 
which we can't really translate into English, but it's a rabbit, but spelled differently from, anyway, it, he plays on words, puns, and so on. And, uh, and here's Franco. So happy to be here in this uh, incredible uh, exhibition. And this um, described part of my work, paintings and sculpture with glass done in Murano, in Venice. So a mix uh, with different media, but also um, uh, connected with the performance of the, of the White Rabbit. It is a performance that I, you know that I did in, I've seen for it. more than 10 years all around the world. I've seen even it. Even in New York, even in uh, Art Basel, yep. Miami Art Basel. Yep, yep. So um, normally the, the performance uh, is um, organized with a, a girl totally naked, white painted, and uh, walk with the mask of a rabbit, yep, yep. a real uh, rabbit uh, texture. Uh, yep, yep. And um, so performance, uh, painting, so, and sure. sculpture. And, and the real yes. artist, and the real artist here with us tonight. And what's very nice about this room and the way we've arranged it is that you can see we have very high ceilings and so on. And this is the room that we've given over to the performance artists. So Franco, um, Bancheri, who did this performance during our very un unhappy lockdown of many, many days. We saw this as a little teaser yes, you did. on our social. Yes. Daniela, you want to it, check exactly. this one here? So exactly. who's the author of... Well, uh, I don't think he's here now, but his name is Bancheri. And right. he, he, his performance is about the, this long, long duration of the lockdown and kind of transforming himself into some kind of a, of a playful character. So again, I, yeah, yeah, sorry. So again, no, I just want to say that animals also figure very prominently in these performances, right? So the white rabbit, uh, the baboon, uh, the fox and the wolf, and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the dog. Um, somehow it's a, a sort of a, a theme that's running We're through. receiving a lot of comments on our um, live on Facebook. Yes. So please continue yes. to send uh, like all your message. Alice said she's arriving. I don't know, maybe she's late. That's maybe. why. Okay. Okay. But we want to look at this one right now. Right? Yes. So this one yes. is... So this is, uh, her name is Alice Schivardi and she found a, 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 a rescue dog 18, maybe now 20 years ago and uh, the dog lived 18 years with her. They were inseparable. And when the dog died, she wanted to preserve a very kind of Italian thing of preserving her, her dog. So this is um, just the, the fur that the dog shed. And she created this, this mask. And here she is doing a performance wearing the fur of her dog. Very touching. I know maybe it sounds a bit gruesome when you think about it, but it's really very, very touching. She loved the dog very much. And uh, what about this? And these one are the right photographs yes. that these are the photographs that document the performance. So in this case, it's a drawing, and in this case, right, two different artists' approach to making a performance a tangible, maybe even sellable work of art, because the performance, as you know, is ephemeral. So you do it, and then and then it's gone. So here she is in the photographs that document the performance. That's beautiful. Yes, part. very balletic, very much. Yes. I love this one, right? We're starting from the second room yes, right now. The second room. We already sold out. Yes. We're starting from here. Yes. Okay, Danielle. And what we talked about in the first room was performance, right? So works of art that, that are the traces of performance. In this room, the works of art are more formal works. Um, all of them, again, around our theme of mask and masking and identity and, and, and so on. So we're looking at an artist whose name is Virginia Ryan, who's traveled extensively through Africa and, and uh, very, uh, you know, different places. And she's collected a, a, a big uh, selection of masks, which she then positions again. So it's a combination of masking, pattern, um, performance, if you wish, herself, her own identity that she transforms with a mask. And we continue with something which maybe doesn't look like a mask right off hand, yes. Uh, her name is Lulu Nuti. It's a piece of wax with a bee, but Right, we're thinking again of metamorphosis, the insect, lots of insects in the exhibition. Um, the, the, this one? Yeah, this is, this is uh, where is Danielle? he? Uh, Mauro, who's the artist who's standing over there. He can come and say a word, maybe, but anyway, uh, he too has been working on masks for a very long time. He's a painter. As you can see, this is a mixed media piece, but. Um, right, and, as and I was, we move. Exactly, and I, I think we were starting to say, this is the youngest artist in the exhibition. His name is Elia Heine, and he's 23 years old. He's a fashion designer. 
uh, a kind of um, uh, sort of off the, off the grid fashion designer. And as you can see, apart from the mask, if we lift it, the support of the mask is a bag filled with the swatches that he uses in his designs. So it becomes a, a kind of process, a wonderful piece. He knits, he crochets, he finds objects, he puts them together. Matt Dillon, right? The actor Matt Dillon. Wait, Matt Dillon? Matt Dillon, Matt Dillon, Matt the Dillon, actor? Matt Dillon. He should be here any minute. Uh, he hasn't come yet. Wait a minute, but we have a Matt Dillon coming to Temple University, bro. We have Matt Dillon coming to Temple University, Nick, bro. you were right. You were saying that. You were yep. right. I was yep. like, yeah, come on, Nick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where he is yet, but he should be here any minute. Okay. So you know how actors are. They're not Matt always Dillon. on time. They sometimes have other things to do. <laughs> So yes, you can see the different approaches, uh, not only in medium photography, the different ways of presenting themselves. This is a wonderful uh, 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 North African artist. Um, this is an artist who's at the American Academy in Rome, whose work thinks about uh, black identity and he's working on it through uh, you know, various, uh, again here, insects, handmade paper, which we teach here too, so it's an, an exciting artist to have on our walls. <laughs> Felice Levini. What is he He's a very. Per yes. quanto mi riguarda, non credo molto alle parole, in special modo alle mie. Preferisco far bolle di sapone, sono leggere allegre e poi scoppiano. Yes. So he's a very poetic artist who's uh, who's uh, who's saying that bubbles, soap bubbles, right. are, um, are are you know he prefers them to words that don't mean anything. And there he is, masked, blowing bubbles. Very cute. Matteo Basile. Again, a photographer, you can see different approaches to photography uh, and this wonderful, I, I love this piece. And you can see we placed it right at the entrance, right to the exhibition. Yes, you can see from the eye. You can see it as, exactly as you walk in. Yep. And then uh, Luana Perilli, so the actual piece is the video. Okay. Which you see in a moment, it's going to turn back on again. And these uh, 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 three heads are the, are the, are the, pieces that are in the video, and it's the first time she's ever exhibited them. So again, first times are always exciting when you have an exhibition and you can present something that's never been seen I before. I have to say that Danielle, Helena, and Nick are doing like a great job. Yes, they this are. love video for the first time. They're a work study, they're students here, so and Nick see? is our alumni assistant, and he's doing a great job. And of so course- So first times of all kinds of things here today. But of course, behind the scenes, we also have Emily. Uh, it's, she's, uh, hidden somewhere, but she's doing like the tech I part know, as well. I know, I know, wonderful Emily. Our, yes. our great gallery of our team. Yeah. Part of the team changes, part of the team is always the same. <laughs> Me and Johnny. <laughs> exactly, you for 30 years. Yeah, uh, well, I know. You'll so, be here for 30 years pretty yes, soon yourself. Yes, yes. <laughs> and hear what we have here. And, uh, and Pablo Schauden. Again, remember that the theme is, is, is the mask. So without going into all the details, I think, all of you who are watching can see how each artist has really thought about it differently. Look at the one of Veronica Montanino. So there's certain common themes that go through it, nature and metamorphosis, insects, gender, identity. Um, yeah, use your, you can again use your imaginations. Aurea, who's another artist that we've recently met, and she's going to have a single, she's gonna have an exhibition um, in February that Benedicta and Emily are curating. So we'll see more of her work in the next live that exactly. we do in February. Exactly, it's going to be for the Black History yep, Month. Yep, for Black History Month, February, yes, in right? February. That's going this to be is, a this great... Is a 3D, this is a 3D printing piece. Oh. So it's actually very interesting because if you touch it, it feels like wood. It's made out of actually, um, in fact, it's a 3D printing using... Wow, um, beautiful. What is it in English? Uh, sawdust. Gotcha. If anybody's watching this live and would like to comment or just put a like, uh, just say hi. Or tell come us, to Rome, or come to Rome. Come to Rome. <laughs> tell us where you're from, where are you watching this live video from, that would be great. Oh, we don't want to miss this piece here. From the Spanish Academy, reflection mirror, right? You're wearing it. Um, again, very poetic, almost something out of maybe a, a you know, a, a sort of, um, uh, a kind of fiction, you know, haunted house movie. And then we continue with the last piece right here. So we have like here. Yes. We want to stem like yes. this because we yes. want to. Yes. So what is this piece here? Very political, very political piece. So 
She does not want to offend animalists. Wait, wait, yes, wait, no, wrong. I'm sorry. Yes, because we, that's the camera. <laughs> they don't see did you. you. Did you want to tango with me? Is that what you wanted to do? <laughs> Otherwise, they don't see you. You're right. You're right. Um, very political piece because the audience doesn't know that this is the inside of a, a, a conference hall of the uh, of the of a political building, and so here she's making a very strong political comment. Too complicated to go into, but she's doing it in a very poetic way. Right. So oh, yeah. I want to say something. Like, yeah. You can imagine what's the work behind this gallery opening is great. Yes, and I want to say thank you because you did such an amazing job. Well, thank you all. But you don't, you just didn't do like an amazing job today. We know like your hard work and your oh. passion in this 30 years as a curator of the gallery opening, as a professor at Temple University of Rome. And you know, like at all this COVID restriction, we couldn't do. We wanted to do something, but we still want to honor you for your 30 years here at Temple University, Rome. We have a little surprise for you, and we wanted to do this live. Online. So I don't know what's going to happen. That's not fair. But I want you to follow me because we want to go outside, and we want to open this door for you because I think there's somebody waiting for you Barbara? right outside. <laughs> Because the dean is waiting for us. So, look at you all the years. They look at you. Oh, really? Come, yeah. come. But, wait, wait, wait. Should I be worried that it ends at 2021? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know no. if it's, you know, Amelia, you want to say a few words oh my to gosh. Uh, this is for you, of course. Thank you, Shara, and Amelia. thank you, everybody, for sharing this very special moment with us. Uh, Shara's 30 years at Temple Rome Gallery. I remember when I first came, not that long ago here, and there was this woman full of energy that was always chasing me with one more idea and one more thing to ask. And little did I know what Forza della Natura we have here with Shara. Shara, yeah. thank you so much for everything that you do That's and so nice that you continue you. to do for Temple Rome and Temple Rome Gallery. Well, it doesn't end the 2021. No, it doesn't That's end. <laughs> That's so and, uh, sweet you. Thank, thank you, you for so carving much, out yeah. a place in Rome's art scene for us wow. and for maintaining that place throughout the years wow. and make sure that we have a vibrant place for students wow. and for our community. Thank, thank you. The whole team. And we want to, before we move on, we have something else for you, but we have a, a video that one of our alumni assistant, Rene, prepared for you that we want to watch together on that screen, okay? Emily, go for it. Uh, let's see those are 30 years of shine.
I want to say good professional, a good human being is only a good human being because they work in a great place, they have great friends. The gallery wouldn't have been a gallery without the gallery team and all the wonderful artists. So I don't, I don't, ah. <laughs> I have too many people to thank. I just thank you all collectively. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you, Thank you, everybody, for making this real. Francesca's mother, where is Francesca for all this fantastic carpet, the work study students, oh, students, wow. and all the stuff. Thank you so much. Enjoy the gallery exhibition. Ciao, everybody. Where is the camera? Here. Ciao, ciao, Beautiful. ciao. We're going to go with the end credits. Thanks, Emily. Ciao.